So good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are doing great today. My name is Mehdi, for those of you who don't know me, and today, uh, what, today's webinar is going to be about VHS to digital. And here is what we'll be covering today. So why convert VHS to digital? The VHS to digital conversion process, service-based options for converting VHS, tips and tricks for best digital quality. So if you have a VHS at home and you would like to turn into a digital um, a digital form format, then this presentation is good for you. Why convert? So VHS, uh, VHS versus digital. VHS, fuzzy quality, worse playback, limited by physical storage, harder to share, easily damaged, and age wear. Digital, superior quality, easy playback, stored digitally or on the cloud, easy to share with others, no age wear or digital tapes. Notice how fuzzy and strained VHS is compared to DVD and Blu-ray. DVD and Blu-ray both count as digital sources. So this is DVD and this is Blu-ray. VHS is a really fuzzy quality as it's pretty old. From VHS to digital, easy, convenient, and quick, no lo loss of video or audio quality, works on any type of tapes, VHS, Betamax, Hi8, et cetera, great learning ex experience for technology, it can be done as much as necessary. How to convert? VCR to computer recording requires working VCR and computer, easy and fast at home process, no setup, VCR to USB adapter allows for quality conversion from tapes to digital. There are a lot of varying quality options and adapters. So here are the adapters and there are many other options that you can choose from. So adapters, options, and pricing. So here you can see there are many type of adapters you can get on Amazon, eBay, and Best Buy. At Best Buy, it's a little expensive, around $56, um, but $47 USD. Um, for, for here at eBay, you get $14 um, and then $12 for USD. And for Amazon, you get $23 and $19 for USD. VCR to computer recording. So plug adapter into VCR and computer. So the adapter is right here. This is your adapter. So you have to plug it into your VCR and your computer. Load software that, come, that, that came with adapter. Play tape and record from VCR. Save finished video file onto your PC. So this is not a full guide. This is only a, an overview of what to expect if you choose to convert. The TV set to top box, so this right here, can be anything including VCR that takes AV audio. So the three colored plugs. So these are the three colored plugs right here. It's hard to give a tutorial for software because it may be different from adapter to adapter if service options. And store VHS to digital. Walmart, Costco, Staples, Walgreens, etc. So this is where you can go and turn your VHS to digital. So bring in VHS tapes for local delivery, pay store determined rate and pick up digital version and tapes one to three weeks later. So it, it depends. It, some stores might take longer and some stores might take um, less time. Uh, so it really depends on basically which store you go. Uh, the, so keep that in mind. And there isn't only just four options. There, there are actually other options that you can go to and turn your VHS to digital options. So here are some options that you can go to. Um, Walmart and Costco were one, were one of the um, main ones in the four, and CVS Pharmacy is another one you can go to and get your VHS to um, digital. 
online VHS to digital, mail in tapes to a specific service provider. So basically the online one is they'll send you a, a box like this right here. And you're just going to have to put your VHS or whatever you have and to and that you want to turn into a digital form. And you just have to place it in the box and ship it to them. Digitized tapes will be emailed back after they are converted. May or may not return original tapes. May also accept photos or films. So again, it may take some time and also price varies. So it, it doesn't necessarily have the same price for every company. Like all the company has different pricing. Um, some take a lot and some take less. And it also depends on how much you want to like digitize. So if you want to get two digitized, maybe it's going to cost you less. But if you want to digitize 10, it might cost you more. So here are some other companies, online companies, which you can go and check out. So we have Legacy Box right here, and this is what it's like. Um, Kodak Film, I'm sorry if I'm pro pronouncing this wrong, but that's also another option you can go to. We'll be talking about Legacy Box today, and I'll be showing you that in our live demo. Tips and tricks. While converting at home, ensure that your tapes are in good conditions. So you need to have good conditions tape to convert them. To minimize loss of video audio quality, use a good VCR and converter. Damaged tapes have a higher chance of success at a professional service provider. So if you have a damaged tape, Maybe, maybe that you can't really do that on your own. You'll probably need someone that ha that is professional in what they're doing and they will help you with that. While converting in stores. If you want the original tapes, tapes back, you may have to ask the store when, when hand, handing them in. Always label all tapes handed in. Ensure that tapes are re-owned and ready to be converted. while converting online. So check that you are using a reliable business. Some services all allow you to track your ta tapes on their websites. Other services may have you choose between different quality levels. Choose what you feel is right for your tapes. And now as for the live demo. So first, if you're going to go on Google, of course, you're going to want to go on Google and you're going to type VHS to digital. I just wanted to show you guys that one more time. VHS to digital. Right here. And you're just going to do a little research, right? So you're just going to go and look, oh, like here is Amazon. And you're just going to look around uh, of the options that you have. So just keep looking. And we have Costco right here, but I'm looking for Legacy Box because that's where that's where I'm going to be doing my live demo today. So we're just going to keep looking. And, uh, and if you find something that you like, you can check it out. So just keep looking. And here it is, Legacy Box. So you're just going to click on here and convert VHS to digital service. So it's, it's, I'm going to show you how to do that. Yeah. So here we are. So this is the main page and how it looks like here. So what you can have and what what things they, they provide. So um, the, these are some reviews on the left side right here, as you can see. And now we're just going to go up there and just going to show you around. And we're going to just going to play around with the with the website a little. So let's look at pricing first, the type of pricing. Pricing is important. So. As I said before, it depends on how many items you want to get. If you want to get 10 item fam for like 10 tapes digitized, then it's going to cost a lot. It's going to cost pretty, it's going to be pretty expensive. But if you can, like if you want to uh, digitize two items, you can just choose this pack, which is $38. And you have other options too here. So you have 40 items, 20 items. It depends on how much you want to digitize. So what they provide when you digitize, so you'll get a secure thumb drive. If you like bring your VHS there, they'll give you a secure thumb drive and a watchable DVD set and an easy digital download. So that's what the one you download on your drive. And here are some common questions that people have, and you can always just look around in those. 
how it works. A quick and easy mail-in model. So th this is how it works. So first you have to pick your memories, pack your memories and pick your memories too, the ones that you want to send. Um, and they're going to provide you with a box. So as you can see, these people are sending their photos and they're choosing which one they want to give. So they, they're going to send you a box. They're going to ship a box to you and it's going to be the legacy box. So you're going to put all of the things that you want to digitize in there and send it to them. Once you've sent it to them, they will be digitized with care. So our team of professionals will dis digitize every item by hand with professionalized uh, updates provided at each step of digitizing process. So professionals are actually the ones who are going to be digitizing your VHS and your or your VCR, your photos, whichever you choose to send. And the and then that's it. After that, you can just relieve, relive laugh and cry the moments. So here are some protect your memories. It's just telling you that you can protect your memories and that VH, uh, that legacy box is a good company and you should trust them and that, you know. So, so what we digitize. It's gonna load, okay. So here are some of the things, uh, options that they provide. So they digitize tapes, so VHS, VHSC, mini DV, anything like that. They, they digitize, they dig digitize films, photos, audios. So these are the options that they do. These are the things that they digitize. So to like if I have a, let's just go with VHS, right? So we're gonna click here, digitize now. And you're gonna, it's gonna bring you to another page right now. So here you have the options. The photo is not gonna pop up, but I'm gonna talk about how many items uh, do you want to digitize. So um, if you wanna digitize, so you choose, you wanna digitize two items, 10 items, 20 items, etc. I wanna digitize two items. So I'm gonna click on two items right here. And here's what, what do you want back? So do you want a, a digital access? So do you want it to be emailed to you? Do you want a thumb drive? So you can put it in and insert it into your laptop or, or a PC or a disk, disk set. So do you want a disk back? Um, so you choose which one you want. I want a digital, um, I want a digital one. So I'm just gonna choose a digital one. Now that you've had, um, everything added in and the options that you want to choose, you're going to add to cart and your cart is right here. This is your cart right here. So it's just going to be added onto there and you're just going to proceed and you're going to pay, um, you're going to add whatever you have, um, all the information that you need to add. So as you can see, I was, I've been on here earlier, so I still have some other products that I've added onto my cart, but right now I just want one item. So I'm just going to take that one out. So this is how you get, take an item out. Just click the X right here and here as well. And now you're just gonna click checkout. So check out. So here is your shipping address. So you just add your information in. So your shipping address, your name, your last name, address, apartment, suite, um, city, et cetera, phone number and all of that in, and then you're gonna click continue shopping, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't have an email to put in right now. And you're just gonna follow the steps. So you're gonna have information, shipping and payment at the end. And you get to um, just, you're just gonna have to choose whichever you wanna pay with. And that's pretty much it. That's how you choose which plan you wanna have. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation.